Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. Deep linking is a really cool feature in iOS where someone can enter a URL into their Safari browser on their phone and then deep link directly into your app. In this episode, I'm gonna give you an overview of how deep linking works, how to set up a URL scheme, how to represent deep links in Swift, how to handle that incoming request, and then finally, one super powerful technique for testing these things and really speeding up your productivity. So make sure you stay to the end for that. Okay, let's go. Okay, before we get into the details, let's just give a quick high level overview of how deep linking works. Here's our app, and what I'd like to be able to do is to deep link into the app by going to some URL. So I'm gonna open up Safari here, and the goal is either to deep link to our home screen or our scan screen by typing in one of these two URLs in our browser like Safari. So in this case, I'm gonna type in Starbucks, colon slash slash scan, meaning I wanna to scan to the tab view of our app here. It's gonna ask me for permission to do that. I'm gonna say yes, and it's gonna deep link me into the scan app. Likewise, if I wanted to come into home, I could come back into here and go with Starbucks colon home, and it will do the same thing, ask for more permission and deep link into the home. So in order to do this, what we need to do is a couple things. One is we need to define that URL scheme. We need to add that to our project and basically say our app responds to this scheme Starbucks, yes, you can pick Starbucks even though you don't own the name to it. That's just how this works. And then through Safari or through a command line, we're gonna trigger that into our app, which is gonna be picked up by our app delegate. App delegate's gonna take that URL. We're gonna deconstruct it. In this case, we're gonna figure out that we wanna go to home. We're gonna create a deep link object, which is a Swift enum that we're going to create. And then basically, we're just gonna hand that off to our main view controller who's gonna take a look at that deep link and then figure out whether to present the home or the scan view controller based on that deep link state. That's it. But it all starts with setting up that URL scheme. So let's take a look and see how to do that now. So if you open up your project and you go project info on your target here, you'll see a URL type section down at the bottom. This is where we define our URL scheme. Here you can see we're defining a scheme for Starbucks. You can enter the company name that you work for here, reverse DNS. There's a role selection here. If you own the, if you can define the scheme yourself, you can select editor. I'm not really clear exactly what the differences are, but I just find editor is the right one to choose. And basically that's all there is to setting up the scheme Starbucks so that when someone sends that to your app, your app will listen for that and trigger that app delegate call. Next, let's take a look and see how to actually define and represent a deep link in iOS. Deep links are really easy to represent in iOS if you just define them as a string type enum. Here, basically, by going enum deep link, this is basically the equivalent of defining an enum with the raw value or representation of home. We don't actually need to do this because our enum is actually of a type string. We get this for free. But if we just create an enum and put all the permutations and variations of the URL that we want to be able to support into our app, we can just select those and define those as a deep link and use those in our app delegate. Now let's go see how to actually handle those in our app delegate. Deep links come into our application via the app delegate. And it's this particular method here, application open URL. This is gonna be the URL that's passed to us of this form, Starbucks home or scan. And the keywords here to understand are scheme and host. What we want to extract from the components that are passed in is this bit here, the host. So what we can do is we can construct a UR, an NS URL components based on that URL, extract the host, and then use that to create our deep link by just passing in the raw string value. So at this point, we have a deep link of type either home or scan. We can then simply pass that to our main view controller and let it decide what it would like to do based on that deep link. In this case, if it's of type home, we want to present the tab bar with an index zero representing home. Or if we want to go to scan, we can represent this as a one. This is index one, and that will navigate us to our scan view controller. 
And that's basically all there is to handling the deep link in your app. Now testing your deep links can be a bit of a pain if you've constantly got to go here, go to Safari, fire up the browser, type in Starbucks colon scan and navigate. Like that's a long laborious process. It's not very quick. One of the best productivity boosters I know of when it comes to testing deep links is executing them from the command line like this. This command here, xc run sim till open URL booted and then passing in the URL is a really convenient way to test your deep links. Here I can simply enter a Starbucks home, hit enter, and that will send the deep link, fire it through the application and bring up home on my app. If I wanna to go to a different deep link like scan, that's fine. And look how easily we can navigate and test our diff different deep links just by simply coming in here and executing them from the command line. So this is a really great tip. I really recommend use this when you're testing your deep links. It's gonna save you a ton of time. There is one slightly confusing thing about deep links, and that is that there's another type of link Apple promotes, something also called a universal link. Universal links are light deep links, but they're really for the enterprise. The advantage here is you can actually define a deep link that would deep link into your mobile app and your app website. They require an SSL certificate. They're much more enterprise based. They're much bigger, but they are more convenient if you're going for a real full on deep link experience right across all the different assets uh, of your applications, whether they be mobile, iOS, Android, and the web. So just be aware that there are two different types. You'll come across these names when you're Googling this stuff. What we're talking about is the deep link using the URL scheme. Very simple, very easy to use. But there is this other thing called a universal link. It's more complex, it's a bit bigger, but we're not gonna cover that here. And I just haven't actually really used it yet on any projects. So there you have it. That's deep links in a nutshell. Now you're all deep linking experts. Go out there, build your own apps, try this out. Drop me any questions below. Do hit like or subscribe. And if you've got any other questions on deep links, do leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. Okay, happy holidays, everyone. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.